On August 19th, Moscow denied a Bloomberg News article detailing mercenary involvement in killings, looting, and other violence in the Central African Republic CAR. Russian Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Maria Zakharova said Russia was in CAR to help maintain the rule of law. Quote, such articles are purely unfounded and involve unscrupulous methods such as the fabrication of facts. The goal, clearly, is to tarnish Russia's image. That is false. Multiple news reports and rights watchdogs have exposed allegations of violence in CAR and other African countries linked to the Wagner Group. That private military company is controlled by a friend of Russian President Vladimir Putin, U.S. officials say. In 2017, CAR turned to Russia for weapons and advisors to help its decades-long conflict with rebel militias. CNN reported in July that Wagner operates there and in neighboring Sudan to help siphon gold and blunt Western sanctions over the Ukraine war. On August 16, Bloomberg News said witnesses who saw Russian soldiers described the slaughter in March of at least a dozen miners. The attackers, quote, killed randomly and looted, taking everything including property, money, and gold. That's not the only such report. In May, Human Rights Watch cited witnesses' accounts of executions, torture, and beatings involving Russian-speaking militia. And on August 5th, a United Nations expert said, quote, Russian allies and the CAR army had, quote, provided support and backing for militia atrocities.